Control. There's my controller. That's useful. Right, I'm going to the other continent to farm shit. I remember. Fuck out my way. I'm busy. Good thing I'm not in a fight, because you would be right in front of my bars. You not stand right there. Huh? Talking to you, cat. Not even looking at me. You. Move. Don't lick yourself. Move. banana because that's all I've eaten today. I cannot see how many souls I have, but by how many times I've hit this button and nothing's happened, I better have two or one. Okay, my combo's only going to two. Wouldn't mind not standing in front of the only part of the screen that's kind of important? That'd be great, Cat. Just move over in front of, uh, the other people. Just don't stand in front of Velvet. Stand in front of Lapis Head. In front of any of these other characters. Guess I only have one soul now. Guess I don't have Mr. Card either, because I've been trying to use that and it didn't go. Are you hurt? Can you see him? But I can tell with this cat in the way. Here I come. Rising 
Come on, really? Thank you. Finally move. After the fight's over. Alright, I'll take it. You gotta verbalize it. You don't out loud bitch about it. It never works. Hey, I hit the button, you know, ten times. It didn't work. I bitch about it. Hit it once. It works. Like this mystic art isn't working. But since I just mentioned it, and look at that. Come on! See? Verbalize the bitching. That is my pro tip if you're playing this game and having the same problem. Just bitch out loud. It'll eventually work. See, that time I was just thinking about bitching out loud and it finally worked. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Are we ready for this? Find out. Oh, 
Where are you? Look, see, I didn't even finish the fucking sentence and it finally works. Where in the world do you hide all of that paper? Congratulations, Aizen, on being the first to max out something, almost. Oh, uh, I guess not, because he doesn't have the one thing. I don't have two of it. Not worth my
No mercy! You thought I'd stop there. Annihilating? Crash! Clear off! Slow down! No escape! Take that! Don't devour! No escape! Rising Falcon! Slow down! Finish! Lunar Falcon! Take that! Devour! That all you- No escape! Rising Falcon! Who wants some next? Hey! Looks like I got a dire. Smash them! Hey, fucker! I refuse to fall here. Nice, nice. What? Already had that? Oh shit! I do not remember doing that before, but no choice but to believe it. I feel stupid. I guess the bottle will not work. ever doing that dire battle before, but apparently I have. Most of my senses are pretty bad, particularly my eyesight. I got a good sense of smell, and I smell potatoes.
Very important for you all to know that I distinctly smell potatoes right now. And then after this, I'll go down to the island and do that. Oh, no, I won't, because it's still fucking locked. I guess I haven't moved the story ahead any since my last bitching about that, so I guess I shouldn't really still bitch about it, but here I am, bitching about it. something so it looks like I'm here on purpose. Well, I'm here on purpose, but with purpose. Once and we will go. I'll finish this quick. No, playing this keeps making me think, I need to finish Star Ocean. I like Star Ocean more than Tails games. Why am I playing this instead of Star Ocean? I guess because I just got it in the Humble Bundle. I was going through all my little Humble Bundle games. So. And I'm pretty much forgot what's going on in Star Ocean story wise. I know crashed on some foreign planet, which is what happens in Star Ocean games. Hooked up with some alien. I think it was right outside a boss battle that I never did. Which means I'm gonna go back to it and get rocked someday. Focus is important, right, kid? What you do, you cast spells. On him to finish that fucking waistcoat.
Come on. There's been a, what call it, battle, dangerous encounter, or whatever the fuck they call it, casual encounter. He is less than eight. We're finished here. Let's go. Are we ready for this? Fucker. Don't hit the thing right in front of you. Try to swing at something over there. Thirteen less than eight. Like, math in Japan is the same here. I mean, the way they do it is different, like, they have a different system for multiplication, but they come up with the same numbers. So, counting is the same. Counting is all I can do in Japanese, pretty much. So, why is... You know, everything considered less than eight. That all you got. Stupid AI dying to fucking farm battle. I'm not bothering to res her, I'm doing everything anyway. Did not hit that. Eat those phantom inputs. I'll end this quickly. The worst when they happen in battle, obviously. Nine less than eight. Why are you not? Why are you not theronizing? Come on, I even bitched out loud. There we go. Just for the record, I do know bitching out loud has absolutely no effect on anything. Come 
not stupid or superstitious. Hey, is everyone all right? You better be ready. Like how I did way more damage to things I wasn't aiming at. Take it. An idiot got killed in a basic battle. It's not even a dangerous encounter. Why are you on the floor? You're not hurt, are you? No. What is this the back? Or can I not tell their ass from their face? Why are you not Mr. Guardian? Why are you still not Mr. Guardian? Oh, I saw the last few attacks are guarded, so I get those, but before that. And now you're not theorizing either. Come on, one or the other, I'm hitting both the fucking buttons. Okay, you win. Hey! The rarely seen poor one. Yes, 14 is the only number that's higher than 8. It fucking pisses me off with that trigger shit. Let's do it. Speaking of which, okay, there we go. I even didn't leave the game on overnight like I usually do. I let my computer take a little rest last night. I say night, but I think I went to sleep around 4 a.m. and woke up around 10, so... No. Night is relative. Night is not a relative thing. Night is determined by sunlight. No running, no running. Hey, is everyone all right? A little pissed off. Yay, the waistcoat's done. So use him. He's got it half done.
Guys, I'm gonna be friends, right? I do finally go back to Star Wars and I'm like, where's my invincibility frames? comes back, but... Why are you not doing the thing? 23, less than 8. I'm learning all kinds of things about math. I've been doing it wrong all my life. Done since it didn't let me instantly activate my thing. In a precarious position there. Fuck off my healers. They're all my healers. Did you think you could escape me? A new thing that will also not activate. Gauge thing go away after that fight. But I feel the need to save. 
thinks you're telling me to. Finally. Wait a minute, it's the same fucking thing. Son of a bitch. No mercy! You thought I'd stop there. Three hits. Three hits is more than eight. Three is more than eight. Also part of the Reaper's curse? Uh, I mean, yeah, I would have preferred to have that one come an out. Angel's blessing but... as long as we win. What the fuck? Up is down. Three is more than eight. I think once I had a 60-something combo, and it still activated the 3, that one was 3, and it gave me the more than 8 thing. Why? It makes no sense. None sense whatsoever. Bonus annoyance that it gave me the same thing on this continent as another one. I still have three out there I need to do. This place doesn't count. Down here is clearly its own thing. And the upper continent, and then I guess that continent I haven't unlocked yet. The upper place I can't get to, the lower place I can't get to, and the one that I haven't been to. Excellent. That's some bullshit. I'm so happy things have been peaceful around the capital. I can come to the harbor to shop without fear. I heard that those demons that made a mess of the palace have been wrecking towns all over, though. But Shepherd Artorius and the fine folks at the Abbey are on the job. I bet those demons are quaking in their britches. Let's hope that's the case. Of course it is. Lord Artorius is incredible. The demons have been mostly cleared from the area around the capital. Your love for really. the Abbey and the Shepherd are great and all, They've gotten but stronger. I'd keep it down. If you keep poking around the bushes, you might catch yourself a snake. Uh, a snake? There's a rage-crazed girl out there who hates the Abbey. She's a real viper, that one. She sounds awful. That's what I hear. Who are you calling a viper? <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the dark bottle and make sure there's no cutscenes for staying at the end.
area, there is a shitload of uh, cutscenes you got from staying at ends. This seems to have not that same mechanic. I have. Thank you. 
More than three. Give each. Name. You're the weakest link. Goodbye.
Passing through. The dragon. There's a mountain. Are we ready for this? You won't get a word. You won't get a word. Why will you not, Mystic Art? Why did you enter the fray? Nobody invited you, buddy. Six teams less than eight. Start going after stuff that's a little stronger and the inputs get even wonkier. what that thing was called, because I heard Spiral Ham, which can't be right, can it? Spiral Hail. I heard Spiral right. With the heart of a fat ass, thinking about Ham. I don't even like ham. I refuse to fall here. You're staring right at me. Dart is the dart. 21 is less than 8, sure. Those numbers add up. Crash through! Hey, guys, gaze upon my 
Only had three. Not bitching about the combo count on that one. I'm bitching that it seems to have not have given me a soul because I couldn't we paralyze. Down for... Things I haven't fought. Okay, sure. Give me the back of your head. Tyrion Edge really sounds like Saren Gas to me. I went for the B first, I had that grade bonus thing. Didn't even notice it. Here, BB. B, I don't want a dangerous encounter. Another B. Through here, this particular part of this place, and that blocked off before or something. Imagine if I came through here before, I would have tried to leave that way. There. 
Get it without something else hitting me. He's on this part of the map. Here's a bee. We will need to Hornet. be extremely wary. Worse than a bee. They're too busy being filled with hate to pollinate flowers. Just lucky I made it quick. Blocked off paths and us over there. I'll use those panacea bottles sometime. what that thing even registers as, so I can't build a combo for it when I don't know what it is. Sure, it has wings, that doesn't mean it's winged. 
Sure, it's a beast, but it doesn't mean it's a beast. Are we ready for this? Good thing. Polo Dance is the only one. But elementals. Fire. I don't know why I'm bothering doing this now that I'm in combat and I can very well get killed and this will be erased. This isn't even for this fight. Find the thing. There it is. X combo should do the trick. Got a perfect dodge yet. Have been aiming for it. Crash 
Guess I need to dodge when I think he's gonna attack, not when I see him start to. Still didn't hit it. I do not like getting hit with status effects. He got one. So. Can soul pop now? Finally get one and I still don't get the soul? I guess this round I'm just a tank since I just, you know, took most of the attacks while everyone else did all the work. Like, the only fight in this game where I wasn't the MVP. I thought we were done for. And nobody died. attack but lower everything else attack is because of the enhancement more than anything huh in the feldspar I think Surprisingly easy. Might have something to do with my little world tour. Finally got myself a little bit caught up. Pretty lacking in levels and gear. Run around the world definitely helped. It didn't get me what I was aiming for, because all the fucking, I already had the thing, and then the two continents apparently have the same boss, but, you know, got me some levels at least. That's something. Consent to that fight. No means no. Okay. 
Norman Head fits his outfit awfully well. Void one, that is. I love this said thing earlier, too. Pop up. Sort of matches his outfit, his default one. Like the full deal better. The eyes and head I'll probably remove. Yeah. I don't like him looking stupid. Lapisa, you can look stupid all day. I actually like him as a character. Combination of Sanji and Edna. I like both those characters. I don't like One Piece, but I like some of the characters. The show just... it draws on too much. Too little action in too few episodes, and... Unsatisfying fights when there is finally fights. I had to give up on it. I gave up on it after the, uh, the what's his name? The Do Flamingo saga. Do Flamingo got killed, or knocked out, or whatever happened to him. Yeah, that's when I tapped out. Yeah, I can really feel the earth pulse. I think they actually kill him that above. series, so I think Guess he's we're dead. some mountain climbing then. I kind of like how with Bleach I originally tapped out when Aizen died, and years later I finally went back, like years after the series ended, went back and watched the rest of it, and I'm like, yep, shouldn't have bothered coming back to watch the rest, because it was all downhill from there. After the Aizen first death, I should say. Lost as to where I'm supposed to be going. Less lost than I thought. Like, wait, didn't I just come through a zone using one of those? But Here, this is the earth pulse point I've been feeling. No Therian and no barrier. I must have gotten it wrong again. I wouldn't be so sure of that. That dragon could well have broken its barrier. Or it might have been too powerful for the Abbey to subdue. You could be right. After all, dragons make for the strongest <laughs> demons. The of course problem he says is, that. we don't know if it's a Therian or not. Yeah. Let's stick with the plan and head to Stonebury to gather more information. <sighs> Am I the only one here who thinks the real problem is how we're supposed to fight a frickin' dragon? Right? Area of the dragon fights, one of the few that was actually pretty hard, if I remember correctly. That's why they put him in the sequel prequel. I can't wait to take a good look around. Whoa, now that's what I call of you. I agree that it's beautiful, but don't leap about so much. You'll fall. Billy hmm. isn't. That I can sense view. many earth pulses under this place. I figured you'd notice that. An intricate web of earth pulses crisscrosses the land under the Aldina Plains. Mountains like these would normally take tens of thousands of years to form, but these popped up in about a millennia. So the earth pulses have affected the land? Exactly. Long ago, people wielded arts that allowed them to manipulate the earth pulses and control the very land itself. How could arts like that exist? Perhaps they pushed against key points on the earth pulses? Like how acupressure can improve a person's blood flow. 
That's a rather forced comparison. But you may be right. Either way, those arts have been lost for eons. I'm impressed, Aizen. You know a lot about everything. Not at all. There's so much I don't know. For example, the name of these flowers. That's why I travel. To learn. Aldina alabaster grass. That's the name of this flower? Yes. A long time ago, my brother showed me a picture of it in one of his books. They're fragile flowers. They die quickly on their own. But if enough of them gather together, they can survive. Fields of them form beautiful white carpets of flowers. In some cultures, they symbolize kinship. The bonds between people. Kinship? Huh. I'll remember that. You and your brother taught me something new today. I'll never forget either. Okay. And now you get jumped by a dragon. Never trust an open plane. I couldn't go to before. Suppose it would have been more efficient to go up there and then go fight the boss monster, but how would I know that? Hindsight, 2020 and all. Those both go to the same map at different points, or they go to different maps? I'll find out, I guess. They are both blocked off before, which would imply they go to the same place. in all directions. Stop doing that. I had to look down at my controller for a second to make sure that right stick isn't so big that it's hitting the X button. It's not. It's nowhere near it. Not even remotely close. Alright. If I were a Bloodwing, where would I be? We'll start at the inn. It only makes sense. What now? Yay! I found so many blueberries! What are you gonna do with all those? Make jam? I'm going to feed them to my chickens. That way they'll lay eggs with purple yolks. What? You know that won't work, right? It sure will. The color of yolks change depending on what a hen eats. My grandma taught me that. Hmm. Actually... We always feed our chickens corn. Is that why their yolks are yellow? What are you gonna do with purple eggs anyway? Tourists are coming from the capital again, right? I bet they've never seen purple eggs. So I figure I could sell them for a lot. <gasps> Maybe I can even make our village famous. You've thought this out, but will they really sell? You know what they'd make, right? Purple fried eggs, purple omelets, Purple egg fried rice. Uh, hey, 
Would you want to eat a purple omelet? S strange things sell, right? You don't have to be so mean just because you can't think of a better idea. Oh, sorry. Here, let me help you. Fine. Go catch a whole barrel full of jewel beetles. If we feed them to my chickens, we'll get eggs with yolks like shining jewels. I really wouldn't want to be your chickens, but... <sighs> okay. What a carefree village. But you know, this is what really makes humanity amazing to me. Attempting the impossible. Reaching for the stars just as a matter of course. Aye. Though we may stumble countless times on our way, we can achieve anything we put our minds to. Attempting the impossible, huh? That's all well and good, but there are some lines that should never be crossed. Purple eggs. Blech. Will not eat green eggs and ham. In my ham. Uh. Raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. They all grow in abundance around Stonebury. Apparently on the same trees. We even have a fairy tale about it. One day the ground was covered with so many fallen berries, they all became stones. Bushes. Stoneberries. Trees, Is bushes, that how the town got its name? The spelling has changed some, but yes. Berries are an important part of this village. We harvest local berries to make jams, pastries, gels, and all sorts of sweets. Berry flavored gels! I've never had one. We've exported our jam and fruit for a while now, but our raspberry gels are still being perfected. Aw, oh, rats. Are the vegetables growing in that field special too? I don't think I've ever seen anything like them before. You've got sharp eyes. But that's right. They're a rare species of wild potato. They're red and they're called radish bells. We discovered them in the mountains nearby. Sadly, the potatoes are actually highly poisonous. Really? They look so good. They do, but the skin and the sprouts are toxic. If you aren't careful when removing them, it's poisonville for you. Deadly poison aside, they're sweet, fluffy, and go great with butter. And when they're fried nice and crispy, they're the best. So just skin them and sell them. What's the problem? Yes, we've thought of that, but the way they are now, you have to peel off quite a bit before you get to the edible part. Peel one as big as your fist, and all you get for your trouble is a bit of meat the size of an egg yolk. That's why we're selectively breeding them. One day, they'll have only a thin layer of poisonous skin. Why not breed them to get rid of the poison altogether? With no poison, bugs will eat them, and they'll be more vulnerable to cold and heat. With potatoes, as with people, getting rid of everything harmful isn't always for the best. Jesus makes them potatoes the way they are. Don't try to mess with them. The water around here is ideal for producing wine and You're spirits. ideal for producing wine. I've been thinking about fermenting something new. What will you make? This region's specialty is berries, so a berry wine? Hmm. Sweet berry wine. The chilly air and level of humidity here should be just right for making an amber draft, don't you think? Considering the geography around here, the water must contain a high mineral content. If you use it to make a rice wine, the taste will be unique. I've considered all those options, but I must create something that can surpass my greatest rival, Sleeping <clears throat> Princess. But that's nearly impossible to make. <laughs> exactly. Not an easy task, to say the least. Sleeping Princess is made by filling an emerald cask with water from an enchanted mountain spring and sitting it in direct sunlight for seven years. The water's magic causes it to change color each year. When it reaches the same deep green hue of the cask, it's ready. Solar fermenting, huh? It won't be easy to surpass a marvel of the winemaking world like Sleeping Princess. True, but I've finally found it. The ultimate stone. A gemstone? Will you make a cask from it? That would just make it an imitation. No, what I found can only be called a natural rock filter. You're filtering wine with a rock? Deep in the heart of these mountains, 
I found a stone that absorbs liquids. I tried using it to filter a berry wine. The taste of it was unbelievably crisp and bright. It preserved the luscious richness of the berries, while adding a clarity that left me breathless. I call it pure land wine. There is no better. May I have a taste? Uh, my apologies, but it took me ten years to make a single thimbleful. I drank that thimbleful for my tasting. It'll be about fifty years before I can make a decent batch. I doubt I'll see a full bottle in my lifetime. Fifty years, huh? Meet you back here, then? I've never been <laughs> so glad not to be human. Oh, no payoff. Select cuts of the finest meats. Stoneberry hasn't had much luck growing just yet, but this pioneer town has a lot of potential. Trees grow well here, and the lumber is of great quality. Oh, we're also close to the quarries, so stone isn't a problem. As long as the demons are contained, this country will rebuild. The need for stone and lumber will soar. Best of all, this area is quiet, has beautiful lakes, and is a perfect place for a craftsman like me to work. And why settle for anything less? I do feel that you might be a bit short-handed here. It's hard to build without manpower. You're right. We need something to attract new settlers. Maybe some sort of specialty item? Is there any fruit or vegetable that can only be found around here? There is a type of potato called the radish bell that we grow. But it's got a few, uh, <laughs> quirks. If you want to attract people, you should just ring a bell. Come to Stonebury, where the money grows on trees. Hmm. A bell tower, huh? That might actually work. We can even use local stones for the bell. The Stonebury Stone Belfry. It won't work. Huh? Try hitting a rock. Doesn't ring. Ah, oh, how could I have missed that? I'm still such a novice. My master taught me better than this. Think before you build. That's what he always said. I need to do better and not sully his name. Kind of expecting like a side quest or something out of him, considering, you know, he hyped him up a little bit. Kill killer tree. I was on my way home from a trip to Logres, crossing the Aldina Plains, when I saw it. Rain was pouring as if from buckets, and the wind was so strong I could hardly stay on my feet. From the vast darkness of the sky, a monster of tremendous size descended, like the essence of the storm itself. A huge flying demon? At that moment, a group of exorcists leapt out from their hiding spots and began to battle the demon beast. 
but it met their swords with its fearsome horns, and a swipe of its tail threw the noble exorcist back. Horns? And a tail? Where did the demon go? I couldn't tell you. I was so frightened, I ran away and never looked back. I hope the Abbey can get rid of it, but the beast took out three exorcists with a single blow. Come to think of it, another person was there too. He faced the demon and told it to stop. Zavid. If you're going to the Aldina Plains, you'd better be careful. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, this chest I haven't opened. How do I get to it? You've been to it. Savid. Well, hello, sailor. <clears throat> Are you waiting for someone? Nope. Just saying a prayer for someone. Someone? Let's go. Clearly, there aren't any blood wings here. And she's going to leave? I'm right here! Everybody has times they need to be alone. Fee. Right. Coming. What do you think he was praying about? Well, for one thing, he was drinking a bottle of Thorny Forest. Oh my! The drink you share with your special someone when you're going to be married for life! How romantic! But getting your hands on that stuff is no small feat. I can only hope I'll get a chance to taste it someday. That must have had an important meaning for Savid. That's why you left him alone. Don't read too much into it. You're Velvet, right? Huh, you must be the one who's seen the demon we're after. We saw a big snake-looking dragon fly over on the way here. Is that what you saw too? Yes, that's the one. It nests at the top of the mountain in Aldina Plains. We went to look ourselves. No dragon. It only returns to its nest on rainy days. Rainy days, you say? Oh, Just look at what you went and made the weather gods do! This doesn't bode well. Not at all! Thanks. We'll give it another shot. Alright, break time. I have only eaten a banana today, so I need to actually eat, like, a meal. And a vegetable, some kind of protein. <laughs>